Hello, my name is Anne Sharman. I'm a psychic clairvoyant and tarot reader. I also work as a past life regressionist and I teach spiritual development and meditation. And today I'm going to tell you how you can work with your psychic clairvoyance and develop it. Hello, in this video I'm going to tell you how you can communicate with the spirit world. A lot of people ask how you can communicate with someone who's passed over to the other side. And my real advice is to go and find somewhere where you can train and learn how to do this. It's always best to go somewhere where you feel safe and you feel comfortable, to train with other people, to get their energy and to use whatever methods of communicating with the spirit world that you find are the best. Some people tend to hear spirit, they talk to them. This is clairaudient. You can hear the person's voice outside your head. This is very rare though, and most people tend to hear the voice within their head, and it's their own voice doing the talking, but relaying the messages from the other side. Some people see spirit in their head or outside the body. If you see somebody in spirit, you may see them in your head, which is clairvoyantly. To actually see a solid form outside is not really something that happens very often but some people are very lucky and able to see spirit in solid form. The other way of knowing spirit is near is to feel their and sense their energy. This is called clairsentient where feelings are transferred and transmuted into pictures inside your head. So for example, I may feel somebody near me and that feeling becomes a picture inside my mind and from that I build up a picture of the person that I have in spirit. When you're giving a reading to somebody with a message from the spirit world, you need to be able to provide the evidence and not just say that you have their mum or their dad or their uncle or their auntie. You need to be able to describe them and that's where the clairvoyance comes in because you will see that person come into your mind a description maybe their face won't be clear but you'll get a general description of what they look like also you need to be able to offer evidence of something that they have something significant maybe they had one eye brown brown and one eye blue or maybe they had a wooden leg or maybe they couldn't talk properly or maybe they had grey hair or brown hair, you just need to give a little bit more evidence to the person that's sitting opposite you. And that is how you communicate with the spirit world.